A $1 billion real estate project being put together by developers is hoping to cash in on demand for the biosciences in the area. Now, the project is still in the early stages of approval, however, uh, looking uh, to attract some major firms to our area. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprazier digs deeper into the demand for bioscience facilities right here in the Triangle. This 109-acre campus in Morrisville will be located close to, but not actually in, the Research Triangle Park. But even so, developers say it'll pull from the same talent pool that feeds both RTP as well as biotech firms here in the Triangle. The project will occupy a huge area, 109 acres in Morrisville, located near the intersection of McCrimmon Parkway and Airport Boulevard. When it's finally built out, it will house not only a million and a half feet of lab and biomanufacturing space, but also restaurants and recreation areas. We are taking a big uh, uh, step forward with the speculative program. Is that dangerous in these economic times to be speculating like that? Well, it's a big investment for sure, and it's a measured risk. The project, still just concept art like this. Its plans are going through the approval process right now with the town of Morrisville. Developers are planning on constructing about one-third of the project during the first stage. Those buildings are a blend of uh, uh, product offerings, some multi-story lab, uh, R&D oriented buildings. Currently over 600 life science companies call the Triangle home, including big names like Pfizer, LabCorp, and Novo Nordis. So we wanted to know what makes this area so attractive to bioscience firms. Well, experts tell me it's a combination of a solid labor pool, we're one of the world's largest science clusters with lots of university research adding to that. And this geographic area has advantages for transportation, climate, and drivable recreation activities. And Cushman Wakefield, a commercial real estate firm, said in a study of the market that despite the soft demand for office space in our area, the need for life science facilities continues to grow in the triangle. Developers hope to break ground on this project between April and May and have the first phase completed in about five years. They say it may take up to eight years to completely build it out. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprazier.